The world's aquatic creatures are the most beautiful creations the Earth has ever gifted us. I bet you couldn't agree more because look at your adorable fish pets. From how they showcase unique features to their funny facial movements when eating, down to how they swim and explore around their artificial environment. Hold up. Artificial? Oh gosh, there's something we gotta talk about here. Keeping a fish would mean that you have to purchase a tank that's in good condition. But tell me, at some point, you thought that any old glass container would do just fine. That's a big no-no, fish keepers. We're all aware here that the life and health of our fish are very dear to us. But providing their simple necessities like having a comfortable tank doesn't have to be expensive. There are plenty of cheap tanks out there that are available and could be decorated or modified by you. What you hear is crystal clear because in today's video, I'll be teaching you the five tips that will get you the best deal for a cheap tank. If you're ready to take notes, you can be here with us at Aquarium Store Depot. Aquariums cost a lot. The activity may be highly disheartening when a novice is deterred from, say, keeping saltwater aquariums by learning how expensive it is to get started. Affordably priced fish tanks. Do they exist? For those who know where to seek and have the patience to wait for a reasonable price, there is a way. In today's video, we'll review five suggestions for getting the best price on low-cost fish tanks. But before that, it would be awesome if you gave us a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to learn more about the fish keeping hobby. To start with our tips, you'll first want to know about the dollar per gallon sales. Each year, large chain pet retailers like Petco hold a few dollar per gallon sales. 10 gallon, 20 gallon, 29 gallon, 40 gallon, and 55 gallon tanks are sold for $1 per gallon during these dollar per gallon sales. 75 gallon tanks, although rare during these sales, can be found in your neighborhood retail store for just $1 per gallon. Aquaon, a reputable aquarium manufacturer with a long history, makes these tanks that go on sale. You must be aware of these businesses' sales dates, but unfortunately, since these sales are found best locally, there isn't a website that reports this information. The best way to find out is to talk to your local aquarium societies and check out forums like Reddit, which will usually post when sales happen. Even if the tank is inexpensive, you may still need to spend considerable money on related accessories. So a superior choice exists for those seeking a low-cost fish tank that includes most or all of their equipment requirements. The second advice we can give you is to buy a used fish tank. If you're a picky person and you have this Regina George and Gretchen Wieners attitude, then uh, you might want to skip this suggestion I'll discuss, because buying used tanks requires you to accept that the precious, soon-to-be home of your pet has a 50% chance of a disgustingly dirty pass from its previous owner. However, on the other hand, the easiest way to get inexpensive fish tanks is to buy used ones. It could be hard to find some tanks like these, but let me mention places where you can acquire a tank and explain why they're lovely. First, your inexpensive fish tank treasure trove might be found on Craigslist. You should check through all the most current ads after searching for fish, aquarium, and tank. Since Craigslist is a real-time classified, you might want to check frequently. With Craigslist, the bigger the tank, the better the bargain, as many of these people selling are trying to get rid of their aquariums as quickly as possible. Here are a few examples of Craigslist ads you might encounter while browsing. A reef setup for a 180 gallon, six foot tank with a lacquer stand and canopy costs $750. Or how about a reef ready aquarium measuring six feet long and holding 120 gallons costing $450. Or check this out, $99 for a 46 gallon bow front tank with a cover and a stand. Another additional helpful resource are aquarium clubs. The benefit of aquarium clubs is that you often receive a full, high-quality setup that has been well-maintained. To see whether someone is selling tanks, you should search the forums of these clubs. To view a list of clubs in the U.S. that are local to you, see our list of aquarium clubs on our official website at AquariumStoreDepot.com. And of course, you won't have to go far because other potential sources of free tanks include your friends and relatives. Yep, most of the time, these tanks are kept in garage attics. And most of the time, taking tanks from friends and family is welcome. A free fish aquarium is undoubtedly unbeatable. You'll never know what's available if you don't inquire around. Apart from those three, you could also visit eBay and other legitimate Facebook pages. 
Facebook Marketplace, or groups that buy and sell products like used aquariums in good condition. Two tips were already discussed, and now it's time for the third one. Knowing what to look and ask for. If you're an introverted fish keeper, then it's time for you to evolve if you want to inquire about the best cheap tanks available. Often for personal reasons, we tend to choose or buy things without digging deeper into the information because we're too afraid to ask the seller. But this behavior should be overthrown by a respectful mind because you need to ask the seller or do your research before buying a secondhand aquarium to ensure you get a nice tank. When you're faced with or in a conversation with the seller or simply inspecting the aquariums available, you may ask the seller or yourself questions like, what are the measurements? Be cautious, because Craigslist users frequently submit the wrong tank volume. We have a volume calculator on our website available that you can use to look up and verify the gallon stated on the post. A tank intended to house rats or reptiles should not be purchased since it might not be waterproof or its seals may have been damaged. Instead, ask what the aquarium was used for and what it contained. Were there any glass patches that may have been hidden if the tank had been pierced? Ask the seller to do a leak test. If they refuse, consider walking away from the sale, because most sellers shouldn't mind this request. Acrylic tanks will be simpler to fix than glass tanks. Has the tank ever been medicated? Look for signs like discoloration of the silicone edges on a glass tank. If they're blue, chances are high that the tank has been medicated in the past. In what location was the tank kept? Red flags include tanks kept outside or in warm garage, since the heat might damage the silicone and lead to leaks in the future. Now that you have an idea as to what questions you could ask, it's time to inspect the tank while considering questions or checking factors such as Number 1. How does the glass appear? Is it hazy or scratched? How severe is the harm? Number 2. Look for cracks. Prominent fissures are easy to spot, but also look for hairline cracks. These are concealable and capable of holding water, but they'll eventually fail. Number 3. If the aquarium is glass, look for sturdy and malleable silicone sealing. Number 4. If drilling is done, look for fractures at the drill sites. Number 5. Bring a flashlight with you to check for any cracks or scrapes. Number 6. Look for evidence of warping, fractures, or mold damage on the stand. Scratches or appealing finish are okay because the tank may still be refinished. Lastly, number seven. Examine the bracing and look for obvious evidence of bending in acrylic tanks. Look at the tank from the side of acrylic to check for bowing. I know that's a lot of questions and things to answer and check for, but it will all be worth it. Trust me. And when I tell you to trust me, I also mean that you should trust me when I tell you that when you visit our YouTube channel, you'll see many videos that contain helpful ways to manage a tank when you already have one. All you have to do is subscribe so that you can be updated every time we have new content uploaded. Now, let's return to the conversation and tackle the fourth tip on this list. Avoid the purchase of livestock. You may frequently see listings where the seller attempts to offer a whole setup complete with fish, plants, corals, live rock, etc. If you're not accustomed to managing an aquarium transfer, I suggest against buying the animals. One of the most stressful tasks you can do as a hobbyist is moving an aquarium, especially a giant aquarium. Consider purchasing the animals separately and keeping them in quarantine until your aquarium is ready if the seller has what you want. Try to work with the seller to purchase the equipment only. A nearby fish shop or experienced enthusiast with the resources to execute the relocation is frequently a good choice for the seller to send the animals to. If you decide to do so, the safest livestock to buy is live rock. Living rock may be kept in a black stock tank or brute can with inexpensive power heads and an aquarium heater. Corals may also be purchased safely, but consider that frags are now widely available. While buying live rock, the rock should be cooked before being moved into a display tank. A fantastic video describing the procedure is available at Malev's Reef, which you can check later. I hope you're still with me, fish keepers, because we're finally to the last tip. You should consider buying cheap tanks. What is it? It's all about the negotiable prices. Oh yeah, the one thing you've been waiting for. In particular, on Craigslist, advertising prices are frequently a moving target. Take advantage of newly listed properties marketed as must sell quickly or moving sales when you come across them. Your chances of negotiating a better price increase with the age of the listing. Ask the vendor what it would take to get it off their hands that day, even if they have a price. 
How frequently you receive a lower number than initially indicated may surprise you. The worst case scenario is that they say no, in which case you'll wait another week for another listing to appear. It's more challenging to negotiate off an aquarium club listing since the seller is frequently more patient or aware of the equipment's worth. Since the vendors in these postings are more accommodating, it is preferable to consider buying the setup's components. This is a fantastic method for purchasing high quality gear. The following secondhand equipment would be best. Come check it out on your screen. And there we have it. Everything you need to consider if you want to purchase the best cheap tanks in the hobby. Setting up a fish tank doesn't have to be expensive. If you feel like choosing a new, cheap aquarium package, you may use these more compact starting kits that are suitable for fresh water to get you going. First, the Tetra 20 Gallon Aquarium Kit, a beginner kit for freshwater aquarium enthusiasts. And second, Aquaon's 20 Gallon Aquarium Kit, which contains a QuietFlow 10 power filter. To better understand how to clean your newly purchased cheap tanks and equipment, visit our official website at AquariumStoreDepot.com, where you'll find more detailed information about what products to use to safely prep a used tank for service. I hope you gain new knowledge and choices as a fish keeper throughout this video. If so, it would be awesome if you smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily fish keeping information. I'll see you around, fish keepers. Until our next topic, thank you for watching.